Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ascension Teachings, coming back with another video for you today. Uh, we're going to be going over the next key in the book, 204, the keys to the Sons of Light. Okay, so let's continue. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Um, I want to say uh, I appreciate every one of y'all and I love every one of y'all that are here. Um, to experience this journey with us as we provide some knowledge and we can move through our experience together and also provide the feedback that and community that we all need right so go ahead and comment like subscribe share this video <laughs> if you resonate with it and uh, let's get started the keys to the sons of light are given in the transmission of the living energy codes within the people of God they are sent from living universe to universe to reveal the codes of light to to the orders of evolving species within cellular time so that the coded nuclei membranes may attach with the larger membrane of universes the sons of light project uh, project the geometries of creation into the fourth dimensional space in order to code spiritual mankind into the fifth dimension, the next larger membrane of the universe. The revealing of the code of light extends through telethought communication, which is produced by the modulation of gravitational waves. The gravitational waves carry the codes, carry the coding of light intelligence from the larger membrane of universes. You, as a believer, can receive modulated gravitational wave factors that are sent from a higher evolutionary master intelligence of light this transmission of knowledge contains codes of light that are that give you the realization of god's purpose and recognition of where we are in relation to the larger evolving universe this knowledge comes both as a light force and as a love force this is expressed through god's infinite mind as a Eliha Asher Iya, I am that I am, which gives teaching and understanding to our creation through a hierarchy for the remaking of our evolutionary or ev evolving species within the cellular time. We exist only within our conscious time cell until that point where we work directly with the hierarchy commissioned by the Father of Recapitulation, recapitulate the program of Alpha Omega. <laughs> Our time and space are dimensions of time cell consciousness, ordered by the greater star seed image. The image is given by the higher intelligence as the configuration for connecting the spatial vibrations of the first chakra to the seventh, eighth, and ninth chakras of the higher evolutionary light. <clears throat> the movement towards energy embodiment of the fifth dimension begins with the mutual programming created by projected energy codes creating an eighth and ninth chakra vibratory level when this takes place the first and second chakra influences dominating organic three-dimensionality are changed the human system acquires additional eighth and ninth chakra energy fields which are necessary to receive and send geometries of living light so basically as some of y'all know is that when you study the chakra system and some of the um, the yog uh, yogic uh, Sanskrit um, Eastern philosophies, you uh, you start to see the chakra petals, uh, lotus petals, um, kind of all representing flowers. But as you work your way up through the chakra system and through your body, uh, the root base is very that's considered the most dense. Uh, space or chakra system of being and then as you work your way up you get into higher vibrations of light um, or vice versa as you work your way down you go into denser more density so <clears throat> we can uh we can know that as we start to move towards um greater creation and becoming creators of our own um reality that uh we have to understand how the manifestation process kind of works too and uh we'll, we'll get more into that here in a little bit but let's continue <clears throat> 
A series of biomagnetic energy resonances are balanced with the 8th and 9th chakra levels so as to open the human vibratory field through a complete energy conversion through gravitational flux lines. The higher intelligence connects the 1st and 8th spatial wave controlling the magnetic lines of force, the 7th spatial wave controlling the electrostatic lines of force, and the ninth spatial wave controlling the gravitational lines of for force, so we, we can be sufficiently altered into any of the nine dimensions in our local universe. Here the energy plurality produces a unique effect for travel through mag metagalactic ordering where gravity is uniquely overcome. <laughs> From this light encoding, the physical body and the overself body become one, so that the physical form can be simulated sim simultaneously in two or more locations. The words "larger membrane of universes" are set off by spatial or special markings, which represents a key within a key. This emphasis this emphasizes that the larger membrane exists in other universes many of which are far beyond us in the evolutionary makeup. The larger membrane shows us that we function as the finger cells and toe cells of the higher mind processing knowledge as the, brother, the brotherhoods pulsate their wisdom into us. We must understand how the larger life force of local universes collectively forms both part of the eternal mind and part of the and part of our galactic network which issues forth biological programs bringing alpha and omega together when the alpha and omega cycle is completed the magnetic field shift causing the genetic information is to be adapted to the new biotechnology of light the magnetic fields creates neutral zones for the interfacing of the high speed molecules which control growth and development in all living things we are going into a different membrane program at this time, this new program requires that genetics of man function on a higher wavelength of light. In order to accomplish this, the Brotherhood of Light is accelerating to is accelerating the entire system of human biorhythms to enter a less dense spectrum of matter energy. The Brotherhood of Light is changing the electromagnetic density so that the electrification of the matter prepares man for the doming of his overself body we are going directly into a new star threshold with a new magnetic vibration which is cha which is changing the whole nuclear membrane on this planet the new magnetic fields penetrate the trna molecule varying the intensity of the field and causing the hydrogen atoms to produce more units as they relate to the geometric bonding of the dna pentagon realizing then that the universe around us Gauged by many wave factors of electromagnetism, we can realize how man, as an electromagnetic computer, is controlled by a still larger gravitational time grid, which is different from our spectrum. We as, we as an Earth species have been using the wrong attitude, the wrong science, the wrong wavelength of measurement, and trying to penetrate gamma pulsations and other energy codes coming into our spectrum from other thresholds, Articus M42, 3C263, 3C273, Tacita, Tasseti, and Betagius, we have been using the wrong measurements with hydrogen formula, formulae and aminia bands to try to understand why these signals could be coming from distant radio stars like Cygus 8 formations and quasi stellar formations in our larger universe. Once we can accept the fact that these distant suns of light communicate beyond our known electromagnetic spectrum, we can understand why this key states that the suns of light must imprint upon the spectrum new living energy codes. Which will, rise the vi which will rise the consciousness of our evolving species so that we can be coded into the larger membrane. However, some of these energy codes are placed on our planet, on our, on our present electromagnetic spectrum, so consciousness interaction can be stimulated. Therefore, when the scientists of the Earth 
retool their electromagnetic measurements with new energy codes and conscious of consciousness. The biocommunication signals from other species can be received and used to help us project into new planetary environments on new biological wavelengths, which will allow us to cross the old electromagnetic spectrum on our present civilization is based on which our present present civilization is based as in the so that that kind of just like what to me that kind of represents like okay um you know as we start to you know raise our consciousness and you know start to venture out to other planets that you know have a civilization on them we can learn from them but also i think that's with our entanglement particles um, to access our galactic internet that will probably soon be coming out as well too. As in the cycle of Adam Kadman, we will communicate back to our par parent source of light. This is the tremendous significance of the Zohar key for it explains that we as one living subsystem of intelligence pulsate within larger evolutions of star intelligence. Our local universe is a subsystem to larger membrane force fields of star universes. A directed polarization of light takes the 55 molecules of the human geometrian light body and provides the instructions for the new building blocks of life within the galactic tree of life. The sons of light are now giving a master control evolutionary character to those who, who to those within our galactic tree of life who wash their robes, for they will receive authority to go to the trees of life of other galactic worlds. Hear the words of the master control evolutionary character given in the name of the office of Christ. We live in an open-ended local universe, which is part of Merid universes, which compromise the universal mind. Our local universe has, has at its center a more developed pattern of astrochemical networks and reprogramming life synthesis known as the higher evolution. When you surrender your personal ego and identity to God, you are able to rise to a space-time overlap, working with your spiritual brothers and sisters through multidimensional space and time. This is essential for the ongoing fulfillment of consciousness so as to be one with community and change within evolutionary continuum. Invitation to the higher, higher I am identity consciousness of the evolutionary continuum comes by dedicating your physical garment of life. For the survival of the species the activation of this dedication is the next level of attunement with the larger master intelligence focused atten focused attention between the people of god of our galaxies i am consciousness and the i am consciousness within the larger membrane of universes is necessary for our attunement and resonance with the universal intelligence of ia asher ia i am that i am Individual attunement is both biological synchrony and reson resonance with self-realization, allowing man as a living biotransducer to serve higher intelligence as part of light gathering continuum. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's, it's making this video pretty early. My alarm is going off. Uh, so, with that being said, y'all like. You know, as we start to, the, the, the thing is, is that biotransducer, right? A tra biotransducer of higher serving intelligence, as we start to follow our path in um, the Father's way that has led us um, and will lead us throughout our journey, right? And as we kind of formulate and figure out exactly what our path is, that is one thing that you have to kind of go with and um, allow yourself to be open-minded that you are being directed in the right way and to not stray far from that path but as you continue down that path then you start to know that you are resonating this higher intelligence that is leading you down you know your proper um, you know role um, with the father's plan right when you have when you have tapped into the high when you have tapped into the light gathering continuum you will realize that you have more than just one body in a fully activated state of consciousness awareness you can have five bodies these are the electromagnetic epikinetic eco body made up of multiple bodies of relativity geometrium body of, of inner light and the zohar body of outer light 
These bodies collectively make a divine wisdom. When you truly utilize these bodies, physical limitation is overcome and you manifest divine energy in the human plane. So let's go over those really quick. <clears throat> so the five bodies, right? <sighs> and how they can be utilized. This is the electromagnetic. So you have your electromagnetic body, which is that pulsating probably kind of energy that you uh, receive in your body once you tap into this um, higher dimension of like how, once you tap into the 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 consciousness continuum that um, the the father serves to uh, bring us wisdom. You know. Uh, that is that is something that you have to kind of tap into and figure out exactly how to circulate um, energy within yourself when you tap into this right and that's 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 major so uh, electromagnetic body the epikinetic body which is probably that energy that you f that you give off to people too the the kinetic energy that they feel um, whenever they might touch you or something like that too as well. The eco body made up of multiple bodies of relativity. I'm still kind of studying what the eco body is a little bit. The geometrium body of the inner light and the Zohar body of outer light. So you have your inner geometrium body which is the numbers and um, the fire letters that are all consumed with inside the body and then the Zohar body of the outer light is uh, what what people see from you as well to know that you um, that you do have that you know oneness and that you are resonating with higher powers to be able to guide you through your path and journey and that they um, really are they can't they're if if there's intervention that they are gonna have a hard time and with this intervention so just uh, so when you truly utilize these bodies physical limitation is overcome and manifest divine energy of the human plane and so you manifest divine energy you know so people know that you are that one with uh, your higher power and, and, and God and the Father's will so if a global network of spiritual humanity unites to draw upon these energies and focus them with a unified purpose towards the marriage of consciousness evolution to a scientific evolutionary evolution the world will be one planetary mind and will fuse with other planetary world worlds and understand how our planetary mind is one of many thinking membranes between evolutionary star systems so our world as a whole is one thinking consciousness planet right but then we can also connect with those other planets and become one with them too as we start to open up our um, divine uh, divine resonance and consciousness with the Father's will, right? Our planetary mind will be s speeded up as, electro, as an electromagnetic computer as we move into electromagnetic null zone. During this period of the next... 30 years, the planetary mind will enter a dimension of time-space beyond convert, uh, conventional time-space and be transfigured by awe of other life forms that make our many and one universe. So the planetary mind will enter a dimensionary state. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> the planetary mind will enter a dimension of time-space beyond conventional time-space and be transfigured by by awe. Of other life forms that make up many and one universes. So as we start to discover these life forms that are out there, which you know people have their experiences, right? Um, I certainly have had mine that maybe I can come out and talk about later too. But the fact that some of these life forms are out there and they do resonate on other planetary dimensions too. Um, but as we start to become one with that, we will learn from them and we can take that into consideration, right? During the present space-time overlap, there will be the passing of one energy universe within another as our planetary mind crosses the present electromagnetic density threshold and is rise into the next electromagnetic orbit of universal mind. At this point, <clears throat> we as sons of man become the sons of light and transplant our consciousness light into other regions of our local universe so I want to thank y'all for coming back and joining me on this wonderful journey that we find ourselves in <laughs> through life 
on this world and that we can grow together and learn from each other and be teachers you know that's really what it is that's why i've created this channel because i feel that we um as we start to make our journey we grow and and then we teach other people you know um and i actually am working on a yoga certification so i do yoga pretty regularly but uh have also decided to take my practice now and uh practicing for years on end to now take it to becoming that teacher and always still being a student of you know everything that I take in through life too but then also knowing that uh, wisdom has come to me so that I can share with other people and that there are other people out there that probably need um, these words spoke to them and uh, and yeah, so we're just here to all help each other, right? <laughs> As a community. <laughs> However y'all want to see it. So thank y'all for coming back again. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll be pushing out more content for y'all. Let me know what y'all think about the background music. It's a little added extra feature there. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll come back with another video soon enough. And um, we're not even... We're probably about maybe a quarter of the way through this book. So we'll come back, keep talking about it, and uh, I'll speak with y'all then. Thank y'all for coming back to Ascension Teaching.